Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Now we don't need that type of introduction. What is going on everyone? Pleated Pants here. It's my honor to bring everyone the fourth year first episode of Bespoke League Prime Time. I'm calling it Full House because I am shocked and amazed at how many people that we have not only playing but were early adopters and said yes i want to be in this thing um we added more teams this year and i'll tell you what it is awesome you know what else is awesome mrs kitsch coming in from a gifted sub from mr kitsch cheers to the both of you thank you all for being here part of this let's see some stamps on the screen for everyone so if you're watching this on youtube right now we do the initial broadcast on twitch um it is a part of our sunday night um at prime time slot around 6 p.m central time um so if you want to get to see this before it's posted on youtube tomorrow you should get your butt in here pleat of pants youtube channel you know like subscribe follow button bell thing leave a comment you know whatever everyone else tells you to do now let's get going um this is going to be a big prime time and i'm really looking forward to this um so why is it so big well because it's one of the um, most important times of the year um, we're going to talk a little bit about the BFL because there's going to be there are some new people that are playing this year specifically on the PlayStation 5 side. We're going to talk about the structure a little bit and then just some helpful tips about preparing for the Bespoke League. We're going to look back into BFL 23 and do some coaches awards. We got some headline news where we got um, one of our Bespoke League members have submitted in some slides that they want to present to uh, the community. Then we are going to have, finally, the team announcements, and last but not least, a special announcement? A special announcement. Yeah, a special announcement. So let's get into just the nitty gritty. We'll go over these fast, but this is a sort of a launching point for the league um, on a new YouTube page. Um, and so there's gonna be some people that say, what is this? Why should I be following this? Why would I wanna play in this? Well, this is our fourth year that we've run the Bespoke Football League and we did it really simply is because people told me we couldn't. We couldn't have a community driven, non-toxic, non, -toxic, non um, a glitch play Madden experience and I said nah we can do that so we have an inclusive community focus that looks about playing football we're not really looking to play Madden we're not looking to play glitch fest we're looking to play football uh, with football concepts against other people that want to play football against football content but more than that we have a lot of fun um, it, it is amazing how much fun the head-to-head -head stuff can be when it's not cutthroat. I say that we are a casual league, but we are very competitive. Um, uh, the play in this league from year number one to now year number four has constantly increased. And I'll tell you what, especially in this Xbox Series X league, folks, um, if you make the playoffs, you're pretty darn good at Madden. There's going to be some other pretty darn good players at Madden that are gonna miss the playoffs because the league is stacked. But more than that and anything else, you'll see it on some of the screens that we have when we're doing the regular stream that our motto here is to be more kind. Um, it comes from a song from Frank Turner and we have made it our sort of our theme song, um, a lyric that said, in a world that's decided to lose its mind, be more kind, my friends, try to be more kind. And that is what we're trying to do here um but we want to play we want to win but we don't do it at all cost we're still friends afterwards so last year weird madden year weird madden year we had 61 folks that um, signed up and participated um uh, these are unique teams not unique players some of us are um uh, crazy and play in multiple leagues um uh, but that's a good number for something on twitch that people said couldn't happen this year, we got 68 people and counted signed up. Um, we're working on, um, uh, we're, we're full in our two main leagues. 
we are getting very very close to third in full in a third league um and man like it's awesome now we also got a little bit of history to look back let me take my skull off of here real quick and let's go back and look at the people that have won in the beast book football league um 15 different folks have won um championships and i think that we have 21 total seasons between us um we started in madden 21 we got started late in the year on xbox one and ps4 we got through um two years of that league um we had a redacted winner and then ron burgundy um, in the PlayStation, experts won two Super Bowls. And then we go to Madden 22, and we got Stake, myself, and High on the Xbox One. Cody, Cody, and Cody dominated PlayStation 5, um, a Bespoke Football League. Um, and in 22, not Justin, and then Double J Train took home two to end Madden 22. By far our best and most successful year. Madden 23 was weird. We had glitches. We had leagues evaporating. We had gameplay that was sometimes not that much fun, but we still had steak and legs and turkey Jesus winning in the last two Madden um, uh, Xbox One Bespoke Football Leagues. Mac Dub and Tim winning in the PlayStation 5. And King Jamie, Talent and Kitsch winning in xbox so why do i say that the xbox is um, such a, um, a really 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 cutthroat league steak pleated j train jamie talent and kitsch and turkey all champions in other leagues are all playing in this um league this year so we have one two three four five six seven former super bowl champions in there um yep i included turkey he's just you can't see his name because prime time's there so with that let's talk a little bit about the bfl and we'll go through this pretty fast for simulation all pro settings we don't want to try to make the game super hard when we're not playing against each other. Eight minute quarters, 24 teams total in every league. We have every division has three teams. So you will have one computer in each of your leagues. This is an increase from last year in which we only can, we captain leagues at 16 because we've had so much uh, demand. And because I think that everyone has more fun playing user games than the cpu games we had a lot of simulations on the cpu games last year we decided to up this to 24. we'll see how that works and we'll adjust and adapt as we need in future years we do a fantasy draft we everyone uses custom coaches we all start at the same place and you'll hear me say this a lot in the next like five minutes if you ever want more details rule book we should probably have a rule book emote, shouldn't we? Probably. More, we advance on Mondays and Fridays roughly at 6 p.m. Central. Um, uh, we would suggest that all of your um, coordination for those games take place in the Discord. There is a channel for game um, uh, arrangements and schedules. Um, the commissioners are not schedulers. They're not babysitters. They are not um, administrative assistants. Uh, we won't hold your hand to make sure that you're getting games in. If you if games don't get in and we don't hear anything from anyone, we're just going to simulate the game. Um, if there are schedules that can't work out, I suggest that you all work that out between yourself. Let us know how you want us to handle the game. If you want us to force a game one way or another, you, you, you can tell us that. Or if anything, if there's ever a way that we can't come to a resolution, we just simulate the game. We just simulate the game. What we're here in is for, we're here now for Sunday's 
he spoke football league primetime that's when we're going to do announcements we're going to have coaches polls and power rankings we're going to look at the week in review we we'll maybe have some breaking news we're going to watch the game of the week and if we get some plays in we're going to have a flashback of the tailor-made top 10 plays back when that kind of made more sense for golf but you know what Taylor made still sticks with football. Um, and if you want more information about any of that, it's in the rule book. So here's the commissioner's office. Um, at Kitch and Turkey are my co-commissioners in the Xbox League. Justin Rose and Lenny Fish are my commissioners in the PlayStation 5. Um, Mike and Kilbride helped me down in the commissioner's office. They're part of the decision-making for the league. So it's us seven that if you ever have questions about the league, um, you can always ask us. You can, um, we should probably make a commissioner tag in Discord, which I'll do. And, oh, I think we actually have that. Um, you can always, um, you can always, always, always ask us questions. Um, and if you want more information about any of this stuff, I got the Discord channel set up, I think, fairly well. I stole some um, channel ideas from my friend Dad Gamer, who runs the DGFL. All right, last little piece of homework preparing for the BFL. So for the people that are new here, read the rule book. Follow the rule book. Read the rule book again. Um, uh, we mean it. Um, it's what the the game is um, centered around um, you know if you don't follow the rule book where we'll we got more people that want to play in this league than we got spots oh I can give I can get my cam back thank you and we have NAS Cub who um, it just followed I um, don't have the alerts sounds I think on this screen because um, I didn't want them to get put onto YouTube um, other thing use discord a lot of your questions can be answered on discord ask questions we want to answer them and it also we have put pinned messages and announcements and there are commissioner only channels that you should be able to find all the information that you need really easy Um, uh, what? Okay, I gotta go back over here. Coaches Awards. So, over the past couple weeks, we asked the coaches that played previously in the BFL to vote on some awards. Um, uh, for all of you that get some awards, we have a handy dandy little thing in the um, in the Discord that is a little graphic that you can put on your um, channel. Also, if you have won a Super Bowl, there's also a Super Bowl champion um, a graphic that you can put on your stream or your YouTube or wherever you post content. Um, all right, so let's get going. The first is the best Xbox player not to win a Super Bowl. Um, this one was kind of a runaway. Um, and I don't think it comes to anyone's surprise that it's Kilbride 10. Um, Kilbride plays what I say is the most aggravating form of football in the Beastbook Football League. He does absolutely nothing tricky. He usually is calling plays from the coach's selection and he just executes. He just executes. I've been, I've, I can't beat him. I've been up 14 on him and he came back and whooped me. Um, he is someone to be reckoned with. He's been in multiple Super Bowls and I think this might be one of those years that Kilbride might be there. Heck, he was in the very first Super Bowl in Xbox One. No, 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 I'm at Justin. Kilbride's never won. He's been, he was, he was in Super Bowls, I think in each of the years, including last year. Yeah, he lost that very first Super Bowl at the one yard line. I took a picture that he still has um, on his computer. <laughs> Best all around player Xbox Series X. Um, this was close. There's a lot of good players. I actually think that the coaches got this one right talent 
if you guys have ever played talent you know that he's going to be a um, a, a, a complete all-around player he runs the ball he passes the ball he plays solid defense he's not going to make mistakes and if you're going to beat him you're going to have to play better than him and guess what um not too many people play better than talent in this league best offensive player this one was tight um there were a lot of um and there weren't too many votes separating here but best offensive player is a guy that says life's too short to run the ball yet somehow always has jonathan taylor on his team and always runs the ball but the best offensive player comes from us from the xbox one league and that is stakes or legs now He's moving to the new console this year. Will he still be the same best offensive player? Best defensive player. Again, very, very close. There's one vote that was separating this. And the best defensive player is... The Justin Rose. Now... Justin and I have played some absolute mega shootouts. So we maybe have not played the best defense against each other. But if you watch him play against others in the league when he's streaming, he is always formative. Um, he, is, uh, he is going to play good. He's going to have a scheme. And he is going to know how to take away the thing that you want to run. Best stick skills. Who has the best stick skills in the Beastbook Football League? I think, uh, you know, even though he's never beaten me, I think J Train probably does have the best stick skills in the league. He has won two Super Bowls. He is always in there late in any playoffs. And you know, if you're playing J Train, that you better bring it. All right, but who's the best coach? Who has the best game plan? I think this one could have went to a whole bunch of different people. Whole bunch of different people. But I think they got this one right. It's the guy that steals chicken. Mike at your KFC. The guy that I use because he has the longest username on all of my templates to make sure that everything fits. Um, Mike is um, methodical. Um, Mike will go in knowing exactly what he wants to do and he'll know how to also stop what you want to do. Um, uh, he is always looking for that little bit of an edge. And I think that um, uh, he is the best coach in the Xbox Series X. And like folks, I'll tell you what, this one's just easy. You know, um, the first time that we played against him three years ago. Um, I pulled my starters before the second quarter was out. Um, and now he has the stick skills, the, the Madden ability to beat anyone in this league. It's the one and only, it's Lenny Fish. Um, uh, there's, um, if, if the only person that I could say that's been more improved in this league ever was Kane from Kentucky. Um, in the very first year from the very came from the very first year to the second year is probably our most improved player ever um, but um, Lenny is definitely the most improved player in these last iterations of the last couple Xbox um, uh, leagues by far by far it shows that if you play the game you have a good time you pay attention um, that you, you you can figure this game out you can figure this game out All right, let's move to PlayStation 5. So here's the deal. There's not as many PlayStation 5ers that are veterans. Um, I think we got nine new players coming in, maybe 10 new players playing in the PlayStation 5 this year. So it's gonna be wild. From a who's going to win, I have no clue because we got a whole bunch of players that have a big question mark next to their name. Um, so out of the few that we have, that are um, in here. I think that all of these awards were given appropriately. Um, 
the winner of the PlayStation 5 BFL Super Bowl, best player not to win a Super Bowl, could have also won it on the Xbox, and it would have been right there also. Um, another person that has been in, he's been in at least one Super Bowl, and I know that he's been in battles with all of us. It's again, Mike at your KFC. Um, uh, the, this one's just a no-brainer, and the PS5, um, he's going to win one soon. Now, if we look for the best all-around PlayStation 5 player, I think that we have to go to Mac Dub. He's only played one season, but in that one season, he won the Super Bowl. I um, mean, he did it with, like, without a quarterback, basically. You know, everyone that complains about not having a quarterback and not being able to play, like, um, he played with Tyrod Terrell, and he won a Super Bowl. Best offensive player? I think this one's right. It's expert. Um, he always has great um, offense. He won those first two Super Bowls in the in the first year and then got into um, uh, this league a little bit late um, last year. But he's back. Um, I, I, am, I am gunning to beat him this year because um, I almost did, and I would have been the first one to do it, and I will... I will absolutely. I'm I got you're on my list. You're on my list. Best defensive PlayStation 5 player. I better be good at defense because my offense absolutely sucks. Um so um thank you for everyone that voted for me. Um this one was kind of a runaway. Um I like to think that I'm a fairly good defensive player, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Best stick skills goes to Mac Dub. Again, he's just good. You know, he, he, he ran a glitchy RPO offense last year. Not glitchy in a bad way, glitchy in a good way. Um, and he's just, he's, uh, he's um, a very, very, very hard to play against. And the best coach, back to expert. You know what? Makes sense. He's won the most games. He has the best win-loss percentage. Let's say that he is, is the best coach and he has the best game plans too. Um, we put a big X on the back of Expert this year. Let's see if people can take him down. Um, him and Mac Dub and Tim are the players in the um, series in, in the PlayStation 5 that do not have, um, that have a Super Bowl. So they're the ones that you'd have to be favorites. Most improved player. Voted St. Breezes. I never thought St. Breezes was all that bad, to be completely honest. So I had a hard time figuring out who to vote on this one because I think that all of our returning players are fairly good. Um, but St. Breezes got um, one more vote than the next person. And if he's the most improved player, he's already pretty darn good. Um, we're going to have a good year in the PlayStation 5 Bespoke Football League. All right. So we got some headline news. Um, uh, this is going to be a feature that if there's anyone in the league that wants to send in um, uh, um, any news, have some slides that they want to present um they can come in and they can present them they can try to voice over them which didn't work here um but for headline news this year you're gonna have correspondent pleated pants talking to you about one of our um favorite players never to win super bowl mike at your kfc who is my K, A, K, A, K, uh, at your KFC? Well, he's this, um, he is this quiet spoken streamer that um, always is on top of the game. Um, and sometimes um, he's almost too quiet because you don't know what he's thinking. But I'll guarantee you that he's thinking, he's watching, and he's planning his next move in whatever game he's playing. He, whether he's being a bully big man in 2K, he's playing Fortnite with Baffle, or he's playing in the Bespoke Football League with us, or maybe what he's best at is goalie in NHL. Um, he takes 
the thinking side of the game to the next level um so you know that you're going to be in for a battle when you play might get your kfc so this is absolutely totally true um he has a unique concept to everything he play in broadcast view sometimes he will play in all 22 sometimes he'll play in wide sometimes um he will always 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 is innovating inside for overlays um uh, he will have pardon your interruption type things like espn things it all depends um, uh, that um uh, where you, you're going to see a different thing on his stream every single time um uh, mac dub thank you for the for the bits i appreciate that playing in broadcast is 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 weird i'll tell you um but somehow he does it and um he he's been in some of my favorite games of the week specifically games against kilbride um i'll tell you kilbride and him put on a show every single time every single time what's up lion's den how are you doing man it's been a while so here's some stats for him he debuted in madden 22 he does have a super bowl appearance i think that was last year in the playstation 5 um he has been um, the jets the bane of my bills one year he's um he's the steelers vikings and packers um but all of them are and have been super super awesome um uh, players now kind of like who he chose as his rivals and i like that he capitalized pleated pants he didn't just do it under with lowercase he went all out capitalized screaming pleated pants justin kilbride tim ghostbuster yeah he's called him out he's called him out like um i would say that i think that his biggest rivalry is kilbride um but um obviously slides don't lie i guess i'm his biggest rival and so in a few short minutes we're gonna see out if we're in any divisions together any conferences together will the rivalry be two times annually um mike mike is name names and so better bring it better bring it He is good defensively. This is last year against Tim. Notice how he does it quietly without getting too excited. Just casually sweet were swerves, bobs, weaves, and goes to the house to add insult to injury at the end of the first half. I don't know when he said this, but I guess he was quoted as saying him like Lorenzo Cain, two thirds of the earth is covered by water. The other third is covered by KFC. Again, again, folks, he's calling everyone out score some touchdowns on this man more highlight tapes i'm glad he didn't use the one that he got on me that made me really salty this one i think is against kilbride he showed a little bit of emotion there He smiled, you guys, did you see it? He actually smiled. Now, this year it looks like another return year, so I expect Mike to um, Mike to turn in some more touchdowns from kickoffs. Um, this he did really cool. Um, we'll put this we'll screenshot it and put this in the discord he gives his availability um uh, he's changed his schedule from last year 
um but he's um uh, able to play like early evenings most of the time um but goes to work and does like you know the night shift so um this will be cool um to show and i plan i want to do the same thing so he also has um, uh, remembered some things if you remember back two two new year's eves ago when current then current girlfriend came on the stream mike asked her if he's um ever if she's ever heard me talking about him and um um this is what she said i think it's a lie i don't think i talk about mike in his sleep um not worried not worried but i guess maybe i talk about him in my sleep but i do say i don't know how he uses the goofy camera angles but it is fun to watch when he does and then someone anonymous might have had some inside information about some voting maybe he is one of the better if not the best coaches in the bfl that has not won a super bowl anonymous so this was really cool. Mike took some time to take some slides that I made and posted in the Discord, put together a little about Mike. If you wanna do the same thing, or you want to take some of the things that have happened in your games, screenshots that you might've clipped, other things that are going on, and wanna make your own sort of news slides, um, we'll have room in it every single Bespoke Football League primetime to be able to show the things that you wanna show. Um, and like I said, if you, you, you wanna pile some clips, and put them in like that if you want to try to voice over and work with me you want to give me a script you want to come into the stream and present them um uh, feel free uh those will be um those will be awesome um and i'm looking forward to it so are you all ready for team announcements i hope so because they're here Swayze, yeah, yeah, yes, it is. All right, so, like I said, we're full. 24 teams. Everyone gets a, um, everyone gets a two divisional rivals. Um, we're going to take that off. And what I did is I took everyone's name. I took everyone's name and I put them in a random number generator and then or just a random uh, on random.org everyone's names went seven times and then on the seventh time this is how the names showed up so this is super super um random so i didn't do anything sammy you got two this year so let's go first team clutch shots the Cleveland Browns. Hey, somebody get some pants on that kid. Um, Lil Tatis? Maybe? Light? Light Tatis? Um, uh, Tatis, thank you for the follow. Um, I appreciate it. All right. Clutch shots first. Cool Dell guy. Cowboy fan. But his second pick has always been the Texans. So he's going to get to be the Texans. Two AFC people in the running already. Number three. Talent. Back with the Chargers. We give anyone that has been in leagues before the chance to take their teams back. Um, and it was his number one team that he wanted. So talent is the Chargers. And our fourth AFC member, but the first in the AFC East is another legacy. Mike, get your KFC. Now, this has been the league where he's had Kilbride as a rival in the AFC East. He's had me as a rival in the AFC East. Let's see who his rivals are in the AFC East this year here in a couple seconds. Ooh. Ooh. There was a couple games that led to almost bad blood 
in an Xbox One league a while back, and they're going to renew the rivalry. Pleated plants and my defense and clutch shot in his hit sticks two times, maybe three a year. And Gilly. We haven't seen him in stream all that much, but he was a new player last year. He's a good player, um, uh, sneakily good. I think that he improved a lot over the course of last year. He's our first NFC player. He's taken the Seahawks in the NFC West. Steaks or legs? One of our last entrants into the Xbox Series X BFL, um, but surprisingly got his first choice of teams when there are only two possible left. So how about it? Congratulations, you are the Saints. Um, you don't have to worry about playing playoff home games in the snow. Ghost for Buster joins Cool Dell Guy as the Jaguars. Um, a ghost played last year. He also runs his own league that a lot of us play in. Um, he is a hard nose, um, a run first type offensive guy. Um, it will take two Cool Dell Guy's best defense to stop him. Kilbride is the Washington Commanders, or if you look at the logo that I still have, the football team. Um, he says that he is looking forward to taking them over and changing the narrative in Washington. Teddy! comes from Ghostbusters channel, new to the Bespoke League, and he is the Cardinals, joining N. Gilly. Urban Obo, membership extended. Thank you for your continued support of the Bespoke League. Man, you got a new, um, uh, you got a new badge there for the one year. Cheers. Everyone, I got to see some stamps flying around on the page here. Um, uh, Kitch, it, it just gets, it just, it just gets better and better, man. Um, it is, it's, it is crazy when you start seeing these, um, uh, leagues with three teams in the division. All right, next. Elkabong. He is a Bears fan, and so he's going to take his talents to Chicago to try to right the wrongs of the last decade or so of the Chicago Bears. He will probably miss the draft. He will probably not draft a quarterback, and he will probably complain about it the entire year. One reason why he's going to complain in it is because the person with the best stick skills in the Xbox Series X is one of his divisional rivals. J Train has always been the Vikings and he's coming back and he's going to be the Vikings again. Can you hear Elkabong complaining already? Ooh hoo hoo. Ooh, hoo, hoo. yesterday we had a, um, a gentleman bow out of the league. Um, our second, um, a person, um, well, two people bowed out last time, uh, last in the days we, uh, we added one and today we're adding a second one. Now it says filled because the name is a secret. It's a secret. Does anyone want to tell the secret? Oh, so should we keep it? Should we keep it under wraps, Clutch? Should we keep it under wraps? <laughs> no, it's um, up to you. Yeah, it's it's your deal. It's your deal. 
um so so let's keep it a mystery right now um but let's just say it's a legacy player and i'm super happy that this um uh, legacy player is going to get to play in the league so they're going to be in there with mike at your kfc and a gaming rookie kitsch Kitch, Mike, Mystery Veteran. Ooh. Lenny Fish is in there with talent. Now, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, go back to this AFC East. I don't think that that AFC East is going to be the toughest division in the league. It might not even be number two. Now, as we go on, Sammy taking his Cowboys. Taking his Cowboys. Um, uh, Sammy, don't let, don't let these fools, don't let these fools in the NFC East take away from the dominance of the Cowboys. I'm expecting a lot. I'm expecting a lot from you because you get my team because I, I give my team away before I take teams. <sighs> so we had a, um, we had someone that went AWOL on us and left the discord um, so I had to replace him with the first person on the wait list and it's Mac dub. So the AFC North is pleated clutch and Mac. That's a division right there. Still, I don't know if it's the toughest division. We'll have to have maybe the next coach's poll. Yep, Max doing double duty. Now, let's see who's next. Skins Boy E, a streamer that we raided randomly one night because he had a nice gray beard. Um, I talked to him. Um, I said, hey. Um, you're playing Madden. You're saying that you're sick of playing Mutt. I got a place for you to play. He looked at the rule book. He said, that's sweet. I am an old um, uh, and uh, um, retired Madden grinder. I guess that he has won a um, Washington football team, um, a club championship before, maybe two. Um, but he says he's put that the glitches and the meta behind him and he's a skins fan and specifically picked the Eagles. So I was like, are you sure? He's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure. So Sammy, an old school grinder and uh, the professor Kilbride, that's, that's a league. Don't think it's the toughest one. RKB is the Colts. Finishes out the cool Dell guy. Ghost for Buster AFC South. Oh, we're getting down here to the nitty gritty. So who do we not have? We don't have Justin, Jamie, Um, uh, let's, let's just see. Let's just see. There's Jamie taking his Rams with Teddy and N. Gilly. Jamie's a, Jamie's a force to be reckoned with. Um, uh, he will be one of the favorites to win the NFC. We got Turkey. Yeah, we got Turkey. We got Justin. All right, let's 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 just keep let's keep rolling these names then. Turkey Jesus taking his buccaneers. 
we have a battle of two old consolers in the same division and i didn't do anything with it when seriously when stake was the last person on the initial list the only place that was left was the nfc south so stake and turkey are the beginning of the rivalries in the nfc south obby is uh, the player taking over the radars Joining Lenny Fish in talent. Um, um, Avi joined us for the first time last year. He was in the X Series X2. He gets promoted, if you would, and he gets to show his skills in the AFC West. So we have a team in the NFC South. We have a team in the NFC North. Saudi comes in as the Falcons. Now, this is another one of those um, leagues that is going to be interesting. Um, if you remember, there was a league in which a guy with a quarterback named Chase Sharp won a Super Bowl, and he lost one game in that year. It was in week four or something like that to a guy named Saudi. And the toughest division in the Bespoke Football League. The NFC North. That would be my vote. My second vote would be the AFC North. My third vote. Ooh. You know what? We'll have to wait for a prime time when we maybe do our first power rankings of the year, but rather than power rankings for teams, power rankings for divisions. So what do y'all think? I know that I have been saying that I went, well, you know, Barbara, good news is, is that um, you're in the you're in the waitlist for the the futures league. Yeah, I told you I've been talking about this for a few days that you guys are going to see these divisions and you're like, oh my god, like I got to play some of these people two times every year. Like that's what I thought when I put in um, a clutch shot and Mac dub in mine. I was like, oh, oh, I'm never making a playoffs. Um, anyone that's hearing this um, and is seeing um, seeing this and saying, hey, this is really interesting. Um, I want to be a part of this. Um, people have been posting the link to the rule book. It's a Google Doc. It's sort of like our foundational um, uh, way that we play the game. It, it shows what we do and what we don't do. Um, and in the second page, there's a Google form that asks for people to submit their interest in the league. Um, I would ask you to please fill that out. Um, there's a couple reasons is because we are working on getting a second Xbox League working right now. Um, and that on the PS5 side, I don't want to say anything bad about anybody that's new, but we got a, a lot of people that are new to the league. Um, and there's always some attrition. So we're going to have, we're at, we have wait lists uh, working on both leagues. Uh, if we can't get you in during this first season, um, definitely we'll be looking to fill spots in subsequent seasons. Um, uh, we we capped the team limit at 24, and we do that for a reason, is because 32 user teams are really hard, because for every team that goes 17 and 0, there's a team that sometimes has to go uh, 0 and 17, and it takes a special, special type of player to be able to subject them to just a butt whooping um, every single um, game. So we at least give a little bit of reprieve, even if it's only for two or three games a year, to the um, to the, them playing CPU. And um, you know what? Sometimes two games a week is hard. We're all older. Most of us are older. 
scheduling is tough. It's nice to have a break where you don't have to be scheduling two games a week. Now we got to move to the blue brand. We got the green brand done. Now we got the blue brand. Um, and let's just, same thing. I took all of the names. I put them into a random number generator. I pressed random seven times. Whatever the list said is where I put it in here. So I don't know who um, is coming up next in any of these things. This is uh, exciting for me too. Spezza is our first team. He's taken the Indianapolis Colts. Spezza is new to the BFL, not new to the stream. Um, so it's he wanted to get in last year. We just never been able to find a spot for him. Um, um, we know him from MLB. Also, he's um, he just made World Series for the first time. So, you know, he's a gamer. He has some skills. Um, we'll see how he does inside of the BFL. Next. Purple Rain comes over from Dad Gamer's channel. Big Vikings fan, but the Vikings are already taken. So uh, may he is slotted in to take over uh, the Steelers. Again, we have uh, the ability of people that have been in the league before to keep their teams, St. Breezes took that offer and Mr. Breezes is going to be his Saints. Hence the whole Breeze this thing. Like he kind of likes the Saints. I'm taking over the Lions. The L hat will be seen two days a week. Every week. The gray Stafford Jersey. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I haven't decided if I want to relocate them yet or if we need to keep them because I kind of like their jerseys. Mike at your KFC is taking over the commanders. Now, these first ones are pretty um, um, uh, un interesting because we don't have anybody that's actually doing um rivals yet who tim is one of our super bowl champions from the bfl that is going to be the Bengals in the afc north going to take on purple rain tim is a great player Dean is another new person to the stream, but not to the Twitch community. He comes in also from Dad Gamers channel. Um, uh, looking forward to seeing Dean Izzy take over the Jets. Nick ZTV, another one of our longtime players, Eagles fan, and Mike at your KFCs newest rival in the PlayStation 5 BFL. And let's just get this thing right over with. Dad Gamer comes in and is taking over his Cowboys. Same thing that I said to Sammy. I entrust you with my team. I expect a lot from you. Good luck. Good luck. Aggie Atley is joining me at the Bears. Um, Aggie's been around for a couple years. Um, he um, is an occasional shower upper in the stream. Um, and we look forward to having him in the NFC North. All right. Next, TFR taking over his Dolphins. Going to have a rivalry with D Nizzy. TFR is up there as a possibility of one of those players that is um, a best player without a Super Bowl. He made the Super Bowl in the last year of BFL 23, lost to Tim. And all right, everyone's back. Um, we went to break right when I put Mac Dub's name up as the Browns. He um, it rounds out the AFC North with Tim himself, Purple Rain. So we have two Super Bowl 
winners in the NFC North. And next, Rakdos is our first AFC West member taking over the Broncos. And he's going to play against the Chargers as the real Bacon 96 or the guy that does the Bacon fictional rosters also is known is new to the league, but not new to Twitch. He's streaming more and he's taking over a team in the AFC West. Deontay is our first NFC West member. Um, Deontay comes to us from at least the USN channel. Um, he, USN was giving us a shout out about how great the BFL is. Deontay said, I want to be a part of this. And so don't know much about Deontay yet, but I'm looking forward to getting to know more about him through the rest of the year. He does stream. Um, I tried to check it out earlier today, but um, current girlfriend and I had to go do some stuff. The Justin Rose is the Jaguars. He is uh, coming along in the AFC South with Spez Alive. Lenny Fish is the Panthers. He's going to take on St. Breezes. Rekindle a rivalry there. Big Red Baller is coming in and he's going to be the Vikings and he's going to play against Aggie Atley and myself. He wasn't able to get his Panthers, who he is a big fan of. Um, he was actually the last person that got um, put into the league. So he gets to play me and Aggie two times a year. The Bills go to a Bills fan. Magic Mark is going to get his team that he's rooted for for what he said, 40 some years. And he's going to round out the AFC East with TFR and D Nizzy. Expert is taking over his Chiefs. He's going to be there with Rakdos and the real Bacon. Um, Wherever Rakdos or wherever Expert ended up, you know that he was going to be, he's a favorite. Um, uh, he is going to have a big bullseye on the back of a, his, uh, on the back, on, on his back. Guys, if you don't know me, if you're just seeing this for the first time, my name is Pleated Pants. Just a simple farm kid from Kansas. I don't get the words right all the time. So, you know, sometimes I may, you know, mess up words. Well, a lot. That's why we drink. All right, we got a couple more teams. Gold Blood Prince, another folk, another guy that is new to the channel, not new to Twitch. Um, I believe he found us on Twitter. Um, he follows um uh, people like Crazy Coach. And I think I've seen him in the USN chats before. So um, we're looking forward to him. He's an older gamer, um, active Navy, I believe. Um, so active military. And we look forward to getting to know more about him. He's going to play against USN TV, who is going to be the Cardinals. Um, uh, USN is um, a streamer that we knew from golf. He moved on to doing a lot of NCAA football and he's really, really successful at it. Um, is inside of a push for partner right now, even though he's not saying that out loud. Um, but um, he's excited to play in the BFL. I don't know how much he's going to stream it, um, but he is interested in playing and looks forward to being a part of this. Gigum gets the Texans. I don't think he's a Texan fan, but he is a Texan um, where he's living. So um, he gets himself the AFC South. He gets to play against Spezza and Justin. And what do we got one more? We got one more. Who takes the final spot in the NFC South? 
Ah, right. It's Mr. Warren. Um, this is one of MacDub's friends. Um, so um, what we've got here is a lot of our new players have come from other channels of people that we know, that we watch, we like, um, that we're friends with. So, you know, it can, for the for those new folks like D Nizzy and Purple Rain and um, Mr. Warren, Real Bacon, Deontay, Gold Blood Prince, welcome to the Bespoke Football League. Um, we're happy to have you in here. Um, we look forward to getting to know more about you. I think a lot of you stream, so it'll be fun to see the games. Um, and I'm looking forward to um, a great season. Yeah, Clutch, I'm really looking forward to it too. Like um, the way that everything kind of um, uh, fell, like um, uh, the last of the team that I was, I kind of wanted was the Bengals. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to have to take it. Um, but I got an announcement, everyone. Um, I got an announcement. I want to check something first before I make this announcement. So give me like a couple seconds. Okay. All right. Um, so here's the deal. We got breaking news. BFL special announcement. I um, looked at everything. I did the numbers. I decided that I was um, I was going to be able to do this. I wanted to do this and we're going to do it. We're going to fire the BFL Futures League. Um, it's going to be live. We're going to start working towards it. Hopefully fill the last few spots. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Right now, we have um, we have these number of people, the, these people that are in. Um, since I've taken some of them from the wait list for other leagues, um, they they might not want to play in multiple leagues, so we might have a few less. But I'm hoping that we maybe are able to recruit um, the five uh, ish people. Um, uh, nerdery, no PC league. Um, I'm not buying the game on PC this year. Um, Oh, um, and this is going to be Xbox Series X only. Um, X Series X only. Um, um, Trey, like, I don't know what, um, if you're on Xbox or PS5, um, but read the rule book, find the link. Um, and so this is going to be X. Uh, so here, so let's talk about, let's talk about what the Futures League is. Um, the Futures League is something I thought of after we did um, after we did our year one simulation in um, the after the Thanos snap that when we redid the BFL um, in January. Um, so here's what it is. We're going to simulate the fantasy draft and then we're going to instantly sim 10 years into the future. Um, I'm going to put all of the data into daddy leagues and into neon sports and then we're going to have a draft lottery that's going to happen at a to be determined time uh, to determine the team pick order and then throughout the throughout a week in discord we're going to put people on the clock um, uh, we're going to put people on the clock and have them pick the team that they want to take so this is going to be xbox series x only um it is the uh it's the platform that we have the most um demand for so it this is a new idea this is a new concept i think that it will be fun um i hope that we can fill up and um uh, if we don't we're gonna have fun with the people that we have so other than that all the other rules that are in the bfl rulebook still apply we're going to play friendly non-glitch gaming um uh, all the rules will be the same uh, for um uh, trading and such and um i can't wait this actually really really excites me um i think this will be a fun concept we're going to play mostly with players that we've never heard of before um so we're going to sim the fantasy draft we're going to sim the fantasy draft. We're going to then sim 10 years into the future. The team that you pick will be that team 10 years in the future in year 11. Um, so I think like 2000, 
30, 34 or something. So here's the deal. Prime time number two is going to be mainly about the Futures League. We're going to do it on Sunday, September 3rd. So in two weeks, I know that that's Labor Day Sunday, um, but people don't necessarily need to be here. What we need to have is we need to have a full league. Um, if we have, so what I'll do is we'll do the same sort of random number generator thing. I will, um, I will put everyone's name into random.org. I will, um, I will then roll a die to see how many times that we randomize it. I'll randomize it that number of times. And then that order will be the draft order. Um, teams could already be relocated in those 10 years. Yes. Um, so what I hope to be able to do on that Sunday, the third is that simulated fantasy draft, that 10 year simulation. And, um, assuming that we have Madden companion apps, um, uh, do, um, doing, um, uh, all of the website stuff. Um, then, like I said before, team selections will happen via the Bespoke League throughout the next week. And if we can do it fast enough, um, uh, we will start the Futures League when the weekend that we do the draft for the remainder of uh, the teams. We may push that out to that Monday. Um, we'll just see how everything goes and how fast everything happens. But the idea is the third will be the um, draft and the simulation and then the eighth will be the kickoff of the league um i'm looking forward to it i have been working on some progression and regression sliders for both our normal leagues and this league um, i will be announcing those soon um, and give you the the reasons for um, the way that i'm doing that Probably a good time to talk about that will be um, will be prime time two in two weeks, but I'll be posting it into the Discord before then so people can um, ask and um, I can answer questions. So just just some housekeeping. If you've done this already, you don't need to listen. I need your gamer tags and your PSN numbers if you haven't given them to me. Um, uh, keep in mind, and we'll be telling people this at the conclusion of the draft that the Bears, Texans, Cardinals, Eagles, and Saints, if you have those teams, you will need to trade back your 2024 picks to the proper team um, for a 2025 seventh round pick before season one starts. So that is because of trades that took place um, uh, that you don't. You don't reap those, the teams that gave away those tra those picks don't reap the rewards in a fantasy draft. So we're talking about, you know, the Deshaun, the ending of the Deshaun Watson trade and others in which those five teams have extra first and second round picks. Those extra picks will be traded back to the team that originally gave them to. Um, I also need everyone to register on Neon Sports. Um, uh, the reason is, is because we're going to be doing all trading through there. There is a trade feature in which you are able to submit trades that will then automatically populate information into a Discord channel that then us um, uh, administrators and commissioners can uh, can evaluate and we can approve or for or decline. So um, it is a must if you want to trade this year um, to register on neonsports.com. It uses your Discord login, so it's super easy. Um, and if you have any issues with it, uh, it's been um, picky on their app. Um, it works really good on their webpage. Um, and for the Futures League stuff, I'll just be filling out and populating the Discord over time with information so everyone that is the bespoke football league prime time number one
I hope everyone had a great time. I hope that everyone's happy with their teams. I hope everyone's excited to get the games playing. I know I am. Um, I'm going to wait probably a few more days to create the leagues and start sending out invites. I just want to see if there's any bugs that are populating and if we need to wait for a hot fix or something. Um, but, um, you know, it always takes a while to get everyone in. So we're going to try to do that. So here's the deal. I'm super looking forward to this thing. I hope you are too. We're going to call it a night here for the stuff that we're going to post on YouTube. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to come back and I'm going to play some more Mutt. Um, and uh, so then we can just get back to like a normal stream. All right. So people in YouTube land, we'll see you soon. I love you all. Remember, in a world that's decided to be, to lose its mind, be more kind, my friends. Try to be more kind. Um, I can't wait to see it in the next prime time. Good luck in your games. We'll see you soon.